So for this eye look, I'm going to start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just apply that to my eyelids as an eyeshadow base. Then I'm just going to use a light shade to set the crease area all the way up to the brow bone. So now I'm going to use this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And just build it up to as dark or as intense as you want to. But don't do it all at one time. So I'm just focusing this directly into the crease and then just kind of blending out the edges. The brush I'm using is the Morphe M441. So after you have that shade built up to as opaque as you want it, um, I don't really know what we're going to do. But after you have that shade built up to as opaque as you want it, you want to add a darker shade. We go back to the Kat Von D palette and use this shade. So with this shade, we're going to put it on the outer and inner corner, as well as darken up the crease. So you just want to place it and then blend it out. You want to leave the center blank. From the Anastasia palette, this one here, and just apply it directly on top of what we just did. That way it still has that cool tone purple effect. And that way everything is just more blended. Now we're going to apply a pigment. And this can be a little tricky because you can have a lot of fallout. It's not as pigmented as you want it to be or doesn't go on as smooth. My first little tip is to use a glitter glue. Apply it right above the lash line and then just right into that empty space. And then I'll take another finger and kind of blend it out. But you want to be more precise with it. That way there's not just glitter or pigment all over the place. Pick up your pigment and place it directly onto the glitter glue before it dries. And you want to press instead of swipe because if you swipe like this, it's going to cause you to have more fallout, so you would just want to press it. So you just want to make sure you blend the edges really well and there's not like any harsh line or anything like that. Another trick would be to just spray your brush with Fix Plus. Always easier to do your pigments first or your glitter first and then your foundation. Now I'm going to move on to my foundation. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. So I'm going to take this color here and mix it with this color here to correct my under eyes. With a super fun eye look like this, you do not want to have any darkness around your eyes at all because it will make you look like you just got punched in the eyeball. So I'm also going to use this bright salmon color from this flash palette.
For under eye concealing, I'm going to use the Amazing Cosmetics Hydrating Concealer Stick. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD Stick. I'm going to put that in the center of my face. Because I just went on vacay, so I got me a little bit of tan. Then I'm just going to use my Smashbox foundation in the shade 3.2 for the perimeter of my face. So I'm going to mix the two. This concealer has vitamin C and vitamin E. So it is really nice. This concealer is very full coverage, as you can see. <laughs> the darker shade in the middle here. Do your forehead too. Oh, look at my tan line. Do you see it? Like that. Dallas. From Benefit. It's my blush. kind of like to put mine a little bit up here too to just make me look more whew, lifted. That glow kit from Nastasia makes all three of these colors together. Oh yeah baby. Are you seeing this? So let's go back to the eyeballs. Just want to make sure it's more rounded off. So you want to blend here, and then you just want to make sure all of this is blended. I'm going to use this first light purple color that we used and just smudge out the lower lash line. And you kind of want to connect it right here. Alright, so then I'm going to go back in with that darker shade that we used for the inner and outer corners. I'm going to use it again. Just this time, right up against the lash line. Then go back with this brush and blend it out. I'm gonna take that pencil brush and this black shade. Just one tap. That's all you need. One tap. So then you're gonna go back with this brush and blend that out. I'm gonna take that black shade and put it right here in that same blending brush the first shade we used and put that here again and to help blend out that purple also going to put that shade into the inner corner so I'm going to apply mascara This is Anastasia powder. This is the shade dark brown. So now I'm just kind of going back with no extra product and just blending it in the front. <laughs> 
So I'm just taking my Hula Bronzer from Benefit and just contour my nose. So the lashes I'm going to use, the Grand Glamour by Vegas Nay and Allure. So for lips, I'm going to use the Lip Land and Amrezy collection of Retrograde. So this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Oh gosh. Does this happen to anybody else?